All right, guys, back. And as you can see, I found a Mesa biome, and I, I think it's called a Mesa biome. Hold on. I think we check F3. No, actually. Oh, it's Wooded Bat. What? Wooded Badlands Plateau? Oh, I guess because there's trees here, it's technically a wooded Badlands. Pl oh my gosh, I guess there's. I haven't seen this before. I didn't even notice it, but yeah, there's like random grass and trees up here too. Anyways, yeah, I I've been in this uh, this mesa biome up here for quite a while. There's another desert over there. You can see my X Y Z right now is crazy. We're at negative sixty two ninety, and uh, Z is seventy four seventy five. If I look at the actual map itself, uh, I'll actually uh, get rid of the shield and we can pull up the big map. Yeah, I'm still on the top right corner. So I <laughs> I would not be surprised. If I hit if I hit a uh, negative ten thousand and then like regular ten thousand for Z, I wouldn't be too surprised if I'm still on the top right corner. If I hit negative ten thousand ninety two or seventy or something, and then ten thousand, that'd be kind of crazy. But honestly, I'm like I'm already on this adventure. We might as well keep going until we can find this wooden mansion, you guys. But I came across you guys. You can already see it right now. It looked like a uh, like an abandoned mine, but it's like it's like on the surface or whatever. I don't think I have seen one of these before. I've seen Mesa biomes before, of course. But I... Are these, like, Mesa biome, like, abandoned mines? Because these are, like, what 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 wood is this? Dark oak or spruce or something like that? I don't know. I didn't pick anything up right there. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, there's dark oak planks. I don't think I've seen these before. Like, in an abandoned mine, I think, I, I think I've only ever... Oh, that's a tunnel. I think I've only ever seen these with... Railer wood, like Railer oak. Oh, there's a creperoo. Oh god, I don't have my shield out either. Should definitely get that out though. But yeah, it, it, this is kind of new to me, honestly. Even though it's just a regular abandoned mine, but it's like halfway underground, halfway above ground. I'm like, it does make it easier for us to find loot. Like, hey, there's another chest right there. There's another chest that way, kind of where I uh, parked my horse. So definitely go, we're going to have to go check what that has in terms of loot. But let's see what this has. Oh god. See with all oh, projectile protection and another diamond, some more torches. I'll take I'll take a few torches. There you go. I'll take a couple more. Just kind of load me up on torches. But uh, I guess we could adventure around here a little bit, just to kind of see if we can find anything else interesting and maybe some good loot. Oh, that's another uh, chest right here. Another golden apple there. I'll take that. And of course we have a zombie here. Zambam Bibbly, get on out of here, Ada. There you go. Let's continue on. Keep on adventuring around here, see if we can find any more juicy loot up here. Oh god! We found we found a creeper, uh, not golly. <laughs> a cave spider spawner. Alright, we gotta watch out for that, but uh, oh yeah, I got like a ton of bread. You guys might have noticed that the uh that the desert temples and stuff, they have like a lot of like like hay stacks, you know, just a bunch of bunch of wheat that's just like combined together. I, I stole a bunch of hay from the haystacks, turned them into wheat, because you just put it in like a crafting table or your inventory and you turn it into wheat. And then I made a bunch of bread out of it, so if you guys are wondering why I have so much heck of bread right now, then that's the reason why. But now I'm getting kind of lost, and uh, you know what, no, this is really a bad thing. I guess we can get the bed out, just go to bed real quick, turn it into daytime, even though it's probably like, ooh, the monster's nearby. Yep, the monster's nearby. <laughs> just like I thought, I thought I might have been too far away from him, but nope. Uh, I need to get on out of here now. Oh, there's my horse right there. Hey, I found him. Nice, I found Brownie. Get out of here, spy. Oh, God, he died from fall damage. Nice. All right, well, let's go back to Brownie. There's a creeper right here. I see him. I'm trying to sneak up on me, creeper. Oh, I thought it was going to explode there, but no. Oh, hey, look at that. Two shot him with this, what is it, sharpness five sword? Don't mind if I can do. Although, we're probably going to be switching over to sharpness four. Oh, another uh, chest right there. Nice. Oh, wait, that's the chest that we uh, saw. Yeah, 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 because there's my horse right there. There are the trees. Okay, let's go down there. We do have Feather Falling 3 right now, so we can take a bigger drop, but that's probably a, a lethal drop right there. So don't, don't want to take a bigger drop than we need to, you know? <laughs> so, uh, whoo, and willing to take that drop. And I'm seeing more minecart, or uh, my, more mine rails. Is that the one that we just saw? I think it was. All right, well, let's just go to the one that we saw. The actual chest in a minecart. See what's inside of there. Another diamond, nice. And flame. Oh, that's for uh that's for arrows. That's a pretty good one, honestly. I feel like Ah oh, man, I'm not going to come across an enchantment or uh not an enchantment table, but uh, I need an anvil for that. And I guess the only way we can get a bunch of iron is by just smelting it or uh just mining it like normally, you know? And then making a, an anvil out of that. How much do we need? I think we need three blocks of iron and then four more actual like shred of iron. It's going to be quite a while, but do I have anything in my inventory I can get rid of temporarily, or at least we can get rid of the gold ingots, sure. Flame seems like a really good thing to put on our bow, especially because it has punch. Uh, yeah, punch two and power five. That's really good. So if we could add flame to that, if anything, we're probably going to need some more levels. 13 levels is probably not enough to apply a 
a really good uh, enchantment to that bow. Like it already is already highly enchanted right now. I wouldn't be surprised if I need to be like level hacking 30 to uh, apply the enchantment. But thankfully, we don't need a heckin' uh, enchantment table. We just need an anvil. And that should be pretty easy to come by. There we go, we took care of the critters. Let's see if we can go to bed, turn in the daytime, and then I uh, continue on adventure. Hopefully we're not, <laughs> hopefully we're at least over halfway to the, uh, oh god, random zombie right there. Hopefully we're at least over halfway to the, uh, to the heckin', whatever it's called, Woodland Mansion. But I'm going to get back on my horse and continue heading towards the, uh, the Woodland Mansion, and hopefully I come across more iron to make a, an anvil to apply that flame enchantment to our bow. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh, geez, I was about to pause, but right here, there's another spider spawner. Kind of want to, there you go, but, but besides the spider spawner, I'll just get rid of it. Another golden apple, nice. More coal, I, I guess I can grab that because I do need it for a uh, smelting iron if I do have it like on mass here later. I'm not seeing anything else around here. Maybe, maybe I'll continue adventuring around this thing. See if I can find more of these these chests. Oh, another spider, cave spider. Maybe if I can come across another chest that has like more good loot inside of it, because I already found a few of these golden apples so far, so that's great. Is that more gold? What in the world's with all this gold, guys? I do not know. I wonder if I can smelt a minecart into a... Uh, I'm like, this, that's probably, even if I can smelt it. Oh god, I'm getting really poisoned right now. Thankfully I got rid of the actual spider, golly. Dear, jeez. I'm at like half heckin' health right now. Shit, there's another one up there! Oh my god! They're not gone! They're not gone! I need to eat! I need to get full health! Oh man, yeah, my thorns just killed that guy, nice. Alright, I need to get the heck out of here. Alright, I'm getting out. I'm skiddly don daddling you guys. Alright, now I'm actually going to pause the recording now, so you guys hear a bit if anything else interesting happens. So, hopefully I survived the spy- Hey, I survived the spider bite! So, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. If anything else interesting happens, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Alright guys, I am back, and I am smelting a bunch of iron right now. Way more than I actually need. I I, I don't know how many I had. I had over a stack, though. But uh, I have way more coal than I need, too. But uh, we have- oh. Yeah, this is about to be a full stack right there. Oh yeah, I've already got five in my inventory though, but yeah, I've got way more than enough iron, so uh, <laughs> that's kind of unfortunate. Or, or fortunate, I guess, how you can think about that. Whatever. We need three of those right there, and then of course, uh, oh, I'm going to put that up there. I'm going to put that right there. And now we have an anvil. All right. And I did kill a bunch of critters at night, so we're up to level 21 now, so that's good. That's of course 9 plus 10, if you guys didn't know. And of course, do get some XP from mine and stuff too, right? So, uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to apply flame to our bow. Can we do that? Golly! Just like I thought, we need to be level 33 for that, which honestly isn't even too bad. I might be able to do that if we if we go through one more night, like just fighting off a bunch of critters. I can gain 12 more levels, I'd say. That shouldn't be too bad. I don't want to go mining more, though, to get more XP, just because I'm like, that's going to take forever still, <laughs> you know, so I, I think I'm going to, I, I think I'm going to, oh god, there's even still some XP around here I didn't even pick up during the night time. But yeah, I think I'm going to wait until night, oh man, yeah, I forgot I just went to bed and woke up for the video. So it's going to be a little while until night time, so uh, I guess I just wanted to update you guys on that, because now we finally have an anvil, and yeah, I do need to be level 33 to, to apply the flame to our bow, so that sucks. But I'd say it's definitely worth it, because we're going to have like damage over time like effect going to to critters that we shoot from a distance so not only are we doing like incredibly good damage with a power five and you know knocking them back with a punch too we're going to be like doing some damage over time flame damage to them with the flame effect so that's going to be good i do wonder though can i even apply that to like a crossbow is that like not a thing i could do because uh let's do that there okay so i cannot do it to a crossbow i wonder if there's like a, a special version of flame that I have to do to a crossbow, or if you just can't even apply anything like that to a crossbow. So, I don't know. I guess we'll find out a little bit later. But for right now, I'm gonna pause the recording again, and uh, just kill a bunch of critters at night, kill a bunch of hostiles. I'm like, my sword is doing still pretty well. 1372 damage, or durability out of 1561, that's doing pretty well. Our, our pickaxe is kind of getting there, you know, it's at 927 out of 1561, so might want to refrain from using that too much, but then again, I had to go on a mining trip to get the iron and coal and all that kind of stuff, you know, so not really too big of a deal if it's, uh, you know, kind of down on the durability and stuff like that, but I tried not to use it too much. I tried just to explore, like, actual just caves, and then, of course, mine the coal and the, uh, the iron when I actually do find it. Anyways, uh, yeah, I don't have any raw food on me right now, so I don't, I don't have anything to cook. I'm still I'm still eating through the bread. Like, look at this. We we left the house. Where, where's my, uh, yeah, there's my pumpkin pie right there. We left the house with a full stack of pumpkin pie, a full stack of cooked chicken. And we have, I thought I was going to, like, run out of those by now. But no, we, we found a bunch of bread, the villages and stuff like that. And thankfully, those have kind of sustained me for the last, I don't even know how many, uh, how many blocks. Where are we at right now, by the way? We're at, uh, negative 8404. 
77 and 87 86 so I keep on like going diagonal here and I keep on going down on the X and up on the Y so it seems like the X and the Y are almost always the same or you know the X is just a negative version of the uh, Z. And I say Y just a second ago, but the X and Z are basically like the same number, except the X is just a negative version of it. So hopefully we come across it before we hit the negative 10,000 and 10,000 mark. <laughs> but uh, who knows? I'm like, then again, where was it? I don't think it's here, but I'm pretty sure not too long ago I saw a roofed forest. But I'm pretty sure those woodland mansions are in roofed forests. So I do need to keep my eyes. But oh, is it over there? Yes, there it is right there. There's a mushroom right there. Yeah, so I just need to keep my eyes peeled. Maybe the oh, is it right now? I'm still in the top right corner. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that is nonsense <laughs> How are we going this far and we're not even making any progress? Jeez Okay, well like I said a billion times I'm, I'm gonna pause the recording wait till nighttime kill a bunch of critters level up to level 33 Apply the flame to our bow, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit if anything else interesting happens. So, I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, I'm back. And one major thing I didn't even realize is that my, my, where is it? Here it is right here. My chest piece is getting really close to bre being broken, you guys. Like, holy heck. I'm kind of thinking about, because uh, I have this extra iron here. Thinking about making a, a set of iron armor. An iron chest piece, that is. And then just wearing that. Uh, why do I have feathers in my inventory? I can get rid of that. And just wearing that as my as my chest piece for the time being. Just to save this diamond. And if I need to, I do have five diamonds right there. But I'm not able to repair this because, yeah, too expensive. Man! I need two more diamonds, I think, right? To make a uh, another one. Or uh, how many How many do I need? I need eight for a, uh, for a thing, right? Yeah, I need eight for a chest piece, so... Yeah, I need three more. I need to go on like an actual diamond mining trip to find more diamonds for like a... And even a baseline diamond chest piece would be better than what we have right now, the, the iron. So I feel like I, I really need to keep this one back and just uh, just use that and just use an iron chest piece until we get to the Woodland Mansion. And hopefully, hopefully this actually survives through most of the Woodland Mansion. And if it doesn't, then I guess we have to put the uh, the iron one back on and just kind of kind of as a temporary thing. Because I don't know if I'm going to go on a mining, another like an actual deep mining trip to find uh, three more diamonds, but I may have to. Maybe I'll find more diamonds and like more, more like desert temples or something like that, hopefully, right? But either way, I'm over level 33 or whatever it was, right? So let's do that. There we go. So now we have power five, punch two, and flame on this bow. So that's good. Now if I want to... Okay, yeah, so this is too expensive, so I cannot do anything else on that. I can't even repair it or anything like that, so that sucks. But not that big of a deal, so we can, we can put the uh, the iron ingots there. I can just keep those there. That'd be fine. I don't care. Uh, do I want to keep this anvil or what? I don't know if I want to because I usually need to keep two inventory slots open for uh, for both the lead and the, uh, the actual... Oh, yeah, and then my bed, too. I forgot. Yeah, I didn't pick up my bed yet. Hmm... I don't know what I want to drop. I guess I'll drop the iron ingots. Iron is not really too crazy, so uh, I guess I'll drop those. Need to get my bed back. Oh yeah, by the way, yeah. Uh, I, I stopped using my sword whenever I was killing a bunch of stuff. Well, I, pro I used my sword a decent amount, but now I, I started using my diamond axe. And it does have unbreaking one, so that's good. So it didn't take as much damage as it would like uh, like if it didn't have unbreaking, so that's awesome. But now I'm on level one, which is nothing right now. Uh, do I have enough inventory? No, I do not have enough inventory slots to- Yeah, because I forgot I made those extra torches. Yeah, I don't need all the extra torches, so... I guess we'll leave the, uh, the anvil back. If I need- if I need to use an anvil for whatever reason, I guess it's not really that big of a deal. But for right now, go to pause the recording, and if anything else interesting happens along the way, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Oh my gosh, you guys, okay. Uh, well, I, I don't know where I was last time we left off, but I'm at heckin' negative 10,000 and 12,000 right now. It's kind of crazy, but I just came across this ship because you guys know I was talking about, oh man, I need more diamonds to, uh, to, to make it like another, like a replacement diamond chess piece. Came into this ship, thought, uh, okay, maybe I could find like a buried treasure map. Found a buried treasure map. And look, look at this. Hold on. Let's get rid of our shield if I can. Uh, if I do, then I'm gonna have to drop something temporarily. Let's drop the bread. There we go. Well, look at that. Look, look at how close the buried treasure is. I think the buried treasure is underwater by the looks of it, though, so that kind of sucks. But honestly, it's like right around the corner. So hopefully I find some some diamonds in this. Uh, Where is the uh, shield? Oh, there it is right there. Hopefully I found some diamonds over in this uh, buried treasure and uh, I can actually make another diamond chest piece out of it. I don't know if we'll find three, though, because remember, we need three more to make another diamond chest piece. And uh, let's look at the thing again. Where is it? 
Yeah, it's like right over here or something. All right, guys, I'm back. And uh, no no diamonds, unfortunately, but we did get more emeralds, so that's always good. Another heart of the sea right there. I'll take that. Cook cod. Uh, I can't take that. Oh, God, I'm drowning right now. Okay, well, that sucks, but uh, that was pretty interesting. Find the... Uh, Find the heckin' buried treasure map, like, or, like, the actual buried treasure, like, right around the corner from where we found the, uh, the buried treasure map. So, uh, I also, I, I guess, I guess we also updated you guys on, like, my X, Y, Z. Because we're, we're over the heckin', like, limit right now. Like, I remember being like, oh, man, it's probably, like, 10,000 blocks away. And we're over 10,000 blocks away now. Golly. Anyways, let's go to bed now. Just kind of turn to daytime right quick. And, uh, we're on day 222. And day 223. Hey, it ticked over right there. Noise. Let's grab our bed back. And uh, I guess I, I need to keep going this way. I think I'm going to keep going this way on my actual horse. And uh, I get rid of the buried treasure. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the buried treasure map. Okay. <laughs> Just got to make sure. But I think I'm going to continue going this way on my uh, my horse. Still no progress, by the way, on the heckin' Woodland Explorer map. That, there is nothing there. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be. 15,000, 15,000. That's where I'm going to predict it being now. I, I was like, oh man, 10,000, 10,000. But now now I'm thinking 15,000, 15,000. We're finally going to get the heckin' progress on this heckin' adventure map. <laughs> it's been so long, you guys. I keep spending like yeah, a couple of like 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there, like every other day off camera. Recording clips every time something interesting happens. And now we're, oh God, it's like a straight up desert over here now. Honestly, mm, I might spend some extra time to try and find some more like desert temples over here in my oh god oh there's a desert uh village over there like right off the bat so that's actually not that bad which way is this towards negative x uh okay well that's that's good all right well i guess i'll just look around here because those diamonds will be absolutely in heck invaluable because uh we're getting another diamond chest piece will be amazing especially if i like start racking up levels i'm like right now we're level four if I just find a random enchantment table, I don't know where we'd actually find one, honestly. <laughs> but uh, if we're able to enchant that thing ever, then that would be absolutely amazing. But still, like a plain diamond chest piece would be great as well. Better than the iron that we have right now. But go to Bowser Recording and just adventure around this desert uh, area. Try and find, you know, maybe one, two, three, five desert temples or something crazy. Try and get some heck of diamonds. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. And if anything else interesting happens, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Oh, you guys, look what I found. Okay, I'm in a desert temple right now. This is the second one I came across. I believe I came across one earlier that gave me nothing but really a golden apple, maybe some emeralds, I don't remember. Either way, we have some emeralds over here. We have uh, another gold gun, another golden apple there, another golden apple there. But in this chest, it's not, it's not what we need, but it's two more diamonds and a diamond horse armor. I don't know. What happens if you smelt or try and smelt a diamond horse armor? Can you get a diamond out of it? I don't know. But I kind of want to, like, open up an in inventory slot for that diamond right there. But there's two diamonds and then a diamond horse armor. If we can get a diamond out of this somehow, then we're going to be able to make another chest piece, you guys. Like, holy heck. Oh, God, you can't. Man, that sucks. But I could use it in there as storage. Man. Ah, oh, man. I guess, I don't know. I, I guess maybe I do need to go on a quick mining trip. Because, how am I going to get that last piece of diamond? Man, I, I have seven right now. I can make pants. I can't make a chest piece. Ah, man. I can't repair this either because it's too expensive. It's got thorns too, protection too. Ah, man. 59 damage, or 59. It, it's, it doesn't even have unbreaking either. It doesn't have mending or anything like that. That sucks. Man. I do have... A Iron pickaxe right there. If, if this iron pickaxe breaks, it will give me an inventory slot back. So that's a good thing. How deep does this go? Oh god, there's another villager right there. Oh god, this is, eh, goes down to 55. You know what? I'm going to do it, you guys. I'm going to start digging for diamonds right here. Hashtag digging for diamonds. I'm going to be looking for diamonds. I'm going to go straight down. Not like literally straight down, but I'm, I'm going to be staircasing my way down to heckin' what, Y13 or something like that? Seeing if I can find diamonds, and uh, hopefully I find a diamond. Because literally all I need is just a diamond. But uh, hopefully I can get a diamond and make that diamond heckin' chest piece. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Hopefully I actually come across one of you guys. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, you guys. Pure luck. It, it, was, it was like two or three minutes since I paused. And most of that was me digging down. But I came across to- Oh! Oh, man! We got, I'm like, way more diamonds than I need. I just need, oh my god! More, look at all these diamonds! Oh my gosh! 
Now, if I get enough levels and if I can make an anvil, how many diamonds is that in total? 13, so how many do I have before? Seven? Because I need one more to make a diamond chest piece. I got six diamonds right there. Really nice. And I came down to the exact, actually, I think it was Y12, right? I don't know, I'm at Y13 right now, which I'm like, it's an unlucky number, but it seemed to be pretty lucky for me right now. Got six diamonds right there immediately. Like, look at this. Here's the spiral that I was digging. And then boom, diamonds right there. That was the first, like, I dug this way to see if there are diamonds, dug that way to see if there's diamonds right at the back. And then I was like, okay, third, third time's a charm, boom, diamonds. I wonder if I keep going this way, because we have a little bit more durability left on this iron uh, axe, or pickaxe. Might as well just kind of use the rest of it if I can, right? And thankfully, the, the thing about diamonds is that you don't need to smelt them, you know? So I don't need to get that coal back there, so that's good. And uh, I, I barely even used any torches here, too. Very, very lucky there, you guys. All right, I didn't find any diamonds here right at the bat. I'm not, I, am I getting greedy here? I don't know. But thankfully being greedy isn't necessarily the bad thing right now. Because uh, it's not like I'm going to run into heckin' spider spawner and kill me and end the series or anything like that, right? <laughs> but, let's see. Ah, no diamonds. Okay, forget about that. Whatever. We still have, like, what, a spare six diamonds right now, so that's amazing. That's basically, uh, basically doubled our diamonds right there almost. If I, if I got, like, a more diamond, <laughs> then I would have doubled my diamonds right there. But nah, man, I, I am. I am feeling great right now, you guys. Thankfully, we're like at a village right now, and we can just like borrow one of their crafting tables and make a, a diamond piece of a chest piece right now. And yeah, by the way, we can just get rid of this iron chest piece now, uh, too, so just forget about that thing forever, I suppose. We gotta eat a little bit of food right now, just kind of replenish ourselves. And then, of course, this. I guess I, I might drop the. Oh god, spider. I hear some cre. Oh, I heard like eight legs moving right there, and I got them. I can't move right now, though. I'm not very agile. I do not have full food. So, woo, I just need to kill the crappers. And, oh god, what it? Whoa, how those hits not register? Man, it must have been single player lag or something like that, but then again, why didn't he even explode in the first place? I don't know, but it's not my village, not my problem. <laughs> I don't have to clean this place up. <laughs> uh, this guy's upset with me breaking through his wall, isn't he? Well, you know what? I'm going to go to sleep in your bed. <laughs> Deal with that, Hater, and I'm going to use a craft table to make me a new diamond chest piece, and you're, you can't do anything about it, Hater. Let's go. There we go, diamond chest piece time, full diamond chest piece, nice. Uh, now what am I, oh god, there's a guy right there. Uh, now we have uh, five diamonds left over. Yeah, yeah, five diamonds left over, not not six. Because we got six right there, but of course after, oh god, creeper in the background. After crafting the, uh, the thing, oh god, literally creeping through the window! Get out of the way, villager! Get out of the way! Heckin' creeper right there, he's gonna kill everyone and end my series! Oh god, another one right there, thankfully that didn't hit me right there, jeez. Oh, not my problem. Look at that. He's got a big hole in his house and he's got a big hole in his backyard, too. And I'm just gonna leave. Oh god, where's my horse? Uh-oh. I didn't tie up my horse, did I? Yeah, I've got the leads on me right now still. Ooh, where's my horse? Where'd he go? Hopefully not too far. Is he dead? I don't know. Ooh, this could be ba Oh, okay, he's over here. Whew. I found you, Brownie. I found you. All right, let's get rid of the iron chest piece. Look at this shiny new diamond chest piece I've got right now, Brownie. Going to be wearing this thing. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm probably going to be wearing this thing in the Woodland Mansion as well. And if it's, like, uh, just in case, like, the Woodland Mansion is easier than I thought, you know? Let's see. Positive Z. Yeah, that's good. We can keep going this way. 12,000 right there. Jeez. Almost at negative 12,000, blah, 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 and then 12,000. This is crazy right now, you guys. Let's keep going south and east. No, let's go this way. South and west. Let's keep going this way. Hopefully I'm going to make more progress. Hopefully I'm going to get a little bit closer to this heckin' uh... Oh man, some of the trees are like cut in half right there. But hopefully I get closer and closer to this heckin' woodland mansion, you guys. If anything else interesting happens along the way, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But thankfully now we're back to decked out full diamond armor. Not all enchanted though. But uh, if we randomly find like an enchantment table or if we're... I'm like, all I need right now is obsidian, right? And a book. I just need to, I just need to get a little bit... I have a... Uh, I don't have lava on me, but I can find lava pretty easily, I'm sure. And then I can get obsidian, and then I can make an enchantment table, and then maybe I can enchant the second chest piece, you guys. Might want to do that if I get really high level, like level 30 or something like that. Might just want to spend those extra diamonds. Of course, there's going to be only two more diamonds, but uh, I'd say it's worth it to get an enchanted chest piece, especially if I'm like level 30 as well, you know? So either way, like I said, go to pause the recording, and I'll see you guys here in a bit if anything else interesting happens, or if I can find the Woodland Mansion. That'd be pretty interesting, right? <laughs> but I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Do you guys see what I see? Do I have the inventory space to show you guys? Yes, I do. Uh, hold on. Let me get rid of the shield. Look at the white dot. Let me get rid of this too. Look at the white dot 
It has moved. It has started moving, you guys. Oh, gosh. So is my horse. <laughs> Let me get back on Brownie. Get back here. There you go. It has started moving, you guys. Uh, and the sun is starting to set, so I should probably go to bed at the top of this mountain. Look at this. Look at this. I have almost reached... What would that be? The x-axis? I think so. Yes, the x-axis. Okay. I have almost reached the x-axis of the Woodland Mansion. Fina heckin'ly excuse my language. But I don't even know how long I've spent, how much footage I've recorded and cut and blah bitty blue, but I don't know. Oh god, okay, we can go to bed, that's good. Whew. But we're we're finally getting there, you guys. We're finally getting there. We're at the negative 13,000 and positive uh negative 13,000 X. 12,500 Y. Of course I'm at a hundred something. Uh Y, or, I said Y again. I meant Z on the 12,500. Jeez. But, uh, am I heading the right way again? Uh, positive Z? No, I want to go negative X. Which is th th this way. Okay. Let's keep going this way. Let's, let's do it like the crane thing. Let's try and match the X axis and then go straight to the Z axis after we hit the X axis. But I do want to kind of look at where I'm going because I'm on an actual mountain and I'll fall to my egg in death if I'm not careful. I thought that was a ravine right there. I was about to say, like, oh yeah, like right there. But thankfully it wasn't a ravine. Okay. Let's keep going this way, though. Let's look at the map. We almost hit it, you guys. We are almost there. Hopefully we're not, like, another 10,000 blocks on the heckin' Z-axis away. But, uh, about right... Uh, about right here. Eh. About right here, we can start going positive Z. Yes. We can start going this way. And slowly close in on the Woodland Mansion, you guys. Oh my golly gee. We're finally getting there. And it is, it is extremely late for me. So I'm going to keep going. And I'll probably have to end the episode once we finally can get there. Because it is 1 a.m. for me. I've been spending the past like three hours, honestly, on and off on this heckin' horse. Adventuring around doing the diamond chest piece thing. And it feels good, honestly. Even though we're not there yet, it feels good to know that we actually heckin' made some progress. So I'm going to pause the recording, keep heading literally this same direction, and I'll see you guys here in a bit once we finally get to the Woodland Mansion. Or if anything else interesting happens, like if I come across, like, I don't know, like a, a pot of gold or something. <laughs> but I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Wish me heckin' luck. Hopefully I don't die either. Peace. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm back. I didn't find the Woodland Mansion just yet, but, uh... I don't know where I was last time I left off, but anyways... I found a heckin' uh, mushroom place, a mushroom island. I think I even saw a couple mushrooms. Yeah, there they are right there. Mushrooms. I think I even read about there being like brown mushrooms nowadays or something like that. Is that a thing? I don't know. But uh, of course, you can right click these guys with a wooden bowl, get yourself some mushroom stew, like unlimitedly. <laughs> if, uh, that's a new word, right? Jeez. And uh, of course, I, I think you can even shear them with shears and get like mushrooms off of it. I don't even know if these guys like physically lose the mushrooms off of them because they have literal mushrooms growing off of them and stuff. But uh, they, they like, I guess they grow back like like wool on a sheep. You can just like, get a bunch of mushrooms over from them like unlimitedly, <laughs> like I said. But this is pretty cool. I haven't seen a mushroom island in just regular vanilla survival in like forever, if at all. I usually have seen them like in custom maps or if I was in like, I don't know, like in creative mode and I was trying to look like for a specific biome or something like that, you know. But uh, oh god, there's even a ravine over here. Not too deep though, so that's always good. But uh, I've never really seen one, at least for quite a while. Oh god, look at all the mushrooms over here. At least for quite a while, uh, like in va regular vanilla survival. Uh, if we look at the map right now, I'm still basically on the same x-axis as I was earlier for the uh, Woodland Mansion. We're still at uh, XYZ negative 13,500x and almost 14,000 on the Z, so I would not be too surprised if it was actually at 15 heckin' thousand. Jeez. <laughs> but thankfully the X was better, uh, was was lower, or I guess was higher if you think about it, because it's negative, right? Was higher than the uh, the negative 15,000 on that, so that's always a good thing, but hopefully the, uh, the Z axis isn't like 17,000 or 20,000 or 50,000 or something like that. Hopefully, hopefully we get it before it's 15th. Now, hopefully it's on the other side of this ocean right here. So, go to Bowser recording again. Uh, I can't really do anything about this Mushroom Island, by the way. Like, we're so wicked far away from home that I'm not even going to bother, like, wrangling one up. And even if I wanted to, yeah, I can't even wrangle up, like, more than one creature. I, I, if I want to wrangle up a creature while on my boat, 
I need to be, I need to wrangle up my horse, and then, well, I guess I could wrangle up two, but then it'd be even more troublesome, but I don't even have an extra lead. Like, I have this lead, and that's it. I, like, I technically could kidnap one of these guys and bring it back home, but it might be better just to find one that's a little bit closer than heckin' negative 13,000 blocks and 14,000 blocks away, golly. Anyways, go to pause the recording again, sail the high seas onto the other side of this ocean, and hopefully once we reach shore over there, we find the Woodland Mansion once and for all, so I'll see you guys here in a bit. If anything else interesting happens, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Oh my god, you guys. Look at the map. We've started to eat through that mystery fog. <gasps> oh my gosh. And we're on the map. Oh my gosh. We're in, And we're in the biome too, by the way. Yeah, because I, I think I even mentioned that these woodland mansions are in, like, uh, dark oak, uh, forests, or whatever this is called. So, we're, uh, we're, we're slowly approaching the woodland mansion, you guys. Probably the only woodland mansion on this entire heckin' seed. Cause, <laughs> oh my heckin' gosh, how far are we right now? Where's the X and, uh, Y and... We're at, I'm at 17,000 Z. I'm still at negative 13,622, though, because, of course, we already reached the X. Just a moment, like, probably like two, three, four minutes ago for you guys. <gasps> I'm seeing the- do you guys see that? The edge of the actual mansion itself is on the map. It's on the map. It's- oh my gosh. We found it. We're here. Oh god, it's gonna be- I should've got to the- here we go. Should've gotten to the top of these trees. It would've been easier to navigate without having to- can I see it yet? Uh, it'd be this way. Let's see if we can at least see it. But it is almost 1.30 my time. I, I needed to stop playing this like an hour ago and just like go to sleep because I am not going to be playing this in the literal... M oh, jeez! There it is right there. The Woodland Mansion. And I assume that icon is indicating where the entrance of it is. So if that's the case, I need to keep going this way. And we can actually get to the actual entrance of it because this looks like it's like the backside or like the side or something like that, you know? So it's... Uh, Woo, there we go. Is this the entrance right here? Is that it right there? I can't really tell. I think it is. Hold on, let's get rid of that now. Oh god, okay. Whoa, whoa! Took half a heart of horse damage right there. Hell. Is this it right here? Because I've never been to one. Not even like... Oh god. It is. There's the entrance right there, you guys. It's kind of like floating like multiple blocks above the actual ground of the forest. Let me get rid of this so it's not in the way. Oh my gosh, here it is. The entrance to the Woodland Mansion, you guys. We finally found it. XYZ is negative 13,600. Z is 17,150. Oh my gosh, you guys. I need to end the episode right here, and when we come back... I know, this is like the most epic cliffhanger ever. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. It is so late for me. I can't stay up and record more. And this video is probably like 40 minutes long, too, by the way. So, <sighs> at least when we come back, we're going to jump straight into the woodland. Ma How many floors is this thing, by the way? That's the entrance is one, two, three stories. Golly. Oh, that's going to that's definitely going to be its own like heckin 40 minute long video for me to explore all that. Golly. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching because you guys will not want to miss next episode where we're going to finally be exploring the Woodland Mansion after all these episodes of preparation and actual exploring to find it. We're finally here. There's the entrance down there. Are we going to make it out of this place alive? I don't know. I guess you guys will have to tune in next episode to find out. Or next two episodes, depending on how long it takes to explore this thing. Sheesh. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I will see you guys here next time with some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 1. Are we going to end the season on this heckin' Woodland Mansion? Find out next episode when I return with some more Minecraft Hardcore Season 1. Oh, bye there.